now joined by the University of Wyoming and head coach Dave Christensen, defensive lineman Josh Bazoons, and linebacker Brian Hendricks. We'll open up with a statement from Coach Christensen. Well, we're uh, all looking uh, forward to uh, next Wednesday when our team reports, uh, kicking off our first practice on Thursday. Uh, uh, it's exciting around uh, Cowboy football. Uh, I think we've got more depth and quality players uh, from a defensive standpoint than we've had uh, since uh, I've been in the program. Uh, offensively, uh, we're much closer to the personnel needs that, uh, that we feel are, uh, you're, you have to have to run the, the spread offense the way uh, that we've envisioned uh, running it since I've been there and uh, feel good about uh, you know, our, our specialists uh, and that uh, our punter, kicker, and snapper uh, are probably as strong as we've been in those positions also. So uh, a lot of positive things going on. And uh, again, uh, very excited. Uh, it's been a very productive summer, spring, and uh, we're looking forward to getting started next week. Questions for the head coach or student athletes? Uh, the question is for Josh Mick McGrain, Mount West senior writer. Uh, talked to Coach a little earlier today. I guess they say the clothes make the men. What do you make the uh, new uniforms? Looks like you got a lot of change of clothes. Uh, yeah, you know we got uh, a few new jerseys in, new helmet. Uh, you know they look great. You know as Coach said, uh, no uniforms ever won him any games, but uh, you know they look good. And I think uh, you know you look good, you feel good, you play good. So uh, excited to get them on and play with them on Saturday. Uh, Coach Mark Anderson, Las Vegas View Journal. Uh, ending the season last year on the way you did, d does that mean anything going into this season? Well, it doesn't uh, guarantee anything going into the next year. I know that uh, uh, you know we went into our off season with a very positive, up upbeat, enthusiastic uh, football team, and that's carried through the winter and uh, spring as well as the summer. And now we've got to see if that continues through training camp and into the next season. Another question from a fan. This one from Rocky Red from Laramie. He asked Coach Christensen, will there be a go-to guy at quarterback, or are you considering a two-quarterback system? Well, I've, I've seen one of them practice 15 times. I've never seen the other one practice. So uh, right now uh, I have no idea uh, what's going to happen at that position. Uh, you know, I'm excited to see them both compete. Uh, and and it's, it's like every other position in our football program. Uh, we're more than one deep now, and so there should be great competition uh, at, at all positions. Robert Gagliardi, the Wyoming Tribune. Dave, with uh, not just a quarterback, but with some other things, you know, trying to find uh, consistency at receivers, uh, doing anything early in fall camp. I see you're going to scrimmage quite a few times in the first couple of weeks. Is that designed to really try to get a better evaluation of what you have to, in some of those uncertainties on, on offense? Yeah, we, uh, we'll have four scrimmages uh, within the first uh, two and a half weeks. Uh, I just feel it's important that we get as many live reps as possible in evaluating and trying to find a, a starter at the quarterback position. But uh, we also felt that last year, uh, you know, I made a mistake as, as the head coach and not having enough live tackling reps in the preseason camp. And I, I just didn't think we were uh, ready uh, when we started that first game. So uh, because of those reasons, we're going we're gonna to scrimmage more and, and earlier uh, in, in camp. Brian, uh, with some of the younger guys going through a uh, maturation process on offense, and, and as we've talked about here, the quarterback, does that uh, put a little more emphasis on your defense to kind of try and hold things together a little bit early on? Well, first of all, I know we have a young offense, but uh, as a defense, uh, we have faith in these guys. Um, you know, uh, seeing them, uh, you know, a couple of them were here for spring, and uh, seeing them work through uh, summer summer workouts, these guys are they're, they're going to be fine. They're a hardworking group that's uh, you know very athletic. They're going to get the job done. In the defense, we're just going to do our job. Uh, we got to fly around, uh, get in the backfield more, and uh, keep forcing turnovers. And you know uh, I'm just excited where this uh, where this group's heading right now. We've got a bunch of young players that are going to uh, be successful in the next couple years. Dave, uh, Frank Schwab, Colorado Springs Gazette. You talked about not having enough live tackling in practice last year. How do you think that affected you negatively to not have live tackling in practice, and uh, how does it help you to have more? Well, practice? we had a, a number of missed tackles uh, early on in the season, uh, particularly in that first game. And, 
you know, we just, uh, you know, I just felt that, you know, I, there, there, there's, it's a fine line between doing enough physical live work and, and keeping players healthy. You know, when, when you're one deep, which we were a year ago, you're, worried, you're scared to death that you're going to lose a great player. Um, we've got, uh, you know, more depth now. We've got better players, bigger, stronger, faster, more physical. Uh, we're going to practice that way. We're not going to worry about uh, the, the injury factor. We're going to be ready to play, uh, pad ready, and to be uh, better tacklers when we open up our first game. Chad Craig from the Idaho Statesman. Uh, Coach, you look at the preseason poll of Boise State and TCU 1-2, and everybody expected to come down to those two teams. You obviously saw Boise State last year. So how, how do you see you know, them fitting in in this league and, and that matchup with, with TCU? Uh, I, you know, I think that uh, you know th they're they're a great natural uh, team to have in this league. Um, uh, Personnel-wise, uh, you know, they're, they're very strong. Uh, they're uh, you know an excellent football program. Chris has done a great job in, in uh, building and sustaining that program. Uh, I, we look for that to continue to happen. Uh, I think they'll match up well with TCU, another great football team. Uh, obviously lost you know, quite a few seniors off of last year's team, but I think they're both outstanding teams, and, uh, and we look forward to uh, uh, competing with both of them. Josh and Brian, we have a question from Kevin Miller from Gillette, Wyoming. He'd like to know, and I'll start with you, Josh, and then we'll move over to Brian on this question. What is your proudest moment being a Cowboy, and what does it mean to bring back Cowboy Tough to the field this year? Uh, proudest moment? It's got to be, you know, just winning a – Winning the board war against CSU uh, last two years, you know, keeping that boot, keeping that boot in Laramie, um, you know, it's a big game, you know, one that we all look forward to every year as well as all the fans. So uh, that's got to be, you know, my proudest moment. And what it means to bring back, uh, what is it, Cowboy? Cowboy Tough. tough. All right. Um, yeah, you know, I pride myself on, you know, being kind of blue collar, hard working guy. You know, that's what a lot of, a lot of people around Wyoming are. You know, they're hard. Hard-working, tough people, and uh, you know we try and we try and bring that to every practice, every game, on the field and off the field. You know, bring that mentality to everything we do. And as uh, far as proudest moment goes for me, it'd have to be the New Mexico Bowl victory in 2009. Um, you know, before that season, we were, I think, we might have been picked last in the conference preseason, and then uh, we ended up coming and uh, winning a bowl that year. So. Um, just to be able to do that was my proudest moment uh, as a Wyoming Cowboy. And Cowboy Tough, I mean, uh, like Josh said, uh, many of the citizens in Wyoming, um, you know, less than half a million of them. But uh, it's just they are hardworking people who uh, it doesn't matter if it's cold or hot out, um, never feeling bad for themselves. And that's how we base our, uh, our um, mentality here at the University of Wyoming. We never feel bad for ourselves. We'll work in uh, any kind of weather. Um, you just got to put your uh, your nose on the grindstone and go. And um, you know, it's 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 an honor to to play for such a great fan base at the University of Wyoming. Brian, Lynn Scarborough with Lindy's Sports Publications. Um, we feel like that that this conference may have the best group of senior linebackers of any conference in the country. It was tough to pick a first team All Mountain West uh, linebacker group with five or six seniors that you got. Um, talk about the linebacker play in this league, and then what do you feel like you've got to do personally this year to, to prove that you belong in that group? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you said there are great linebackers in this conference. Um, Messina from New Mexico, Tank Carter from TCU, uh, Sisson from Colorado State. I mean, uh, just the list goes on and on. Great guys. And, um, you know, I get to watch them play and uh, just their style, uh, sideline to sideline. Um, just great athletes. And, uh, you know, I just... It's an honor to be able to uh, uh, be listed with that group. Um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just excited to, to uh, get out there this season, stay healthy, uh, and uh, help my team win. Coach Christensen, a question from Michael Kindler from Las Vegas. He asks, Coach Christensen, going into your third season as head coach of Wyoming, have you noticed any fundamental differences about the program since you took over? Um, yeah, we've got... Uh... A lot better football players right now. They're bigger, they're stronger, they're faster, more athletic, more committed uh, than any time I've been there. And uh, uh, so I think we've we've made great strides in the in the going into our third season there. I think we're on on track of where we want to be. Uh, I'm excited about the foundation that's been laid, and uh, I expect this program to continue to to make the same strides uh, over the next few years. 
One more for the players. We'll start with Brian this time, and then move forward to Josh. But uh, Becky Minter from Casper asks about the expectations you guys have for the defense with so many starters coming back and you know, looking forward to a good season. Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of experience coming back. Um, I know our front seven is going to be returning. Uh, you know, we're bigger, more experienced, and I think that's, that's key. Um, you know, uh, we just want to go out there and cause as much havoc as possible. Um, and that turnover ratio is such a key, key uh, thing to winning. So, um, you know, we got to get that ball out. Um, we can't miss tackles like uh, Coach Christensen said earlier last year was uh, first game was um, just missed too many and there's no excuses for that. So uh, this year there will be no excuses. We're going to come out and uh, play lights out, try and get as many uh, turnovers as we can and just uh, be uh, disciplined and technique sound. Uh, yeah, you know, we put, uh, put a lot of pressure on ourselves as a defense, you know, coming into this year. Last year I think it was kind of frustrating on the defensive side of the ball. Um, but like I said, we put a lot of pressure. I think um, in order to have the season that we want to have this year, uh, we have to play great defense early and often. Um, like Brian said, the turnover turnover ratio. Um, Coach Christensen really harped on that ever since he's gotten here, you know. And I think last year we took a step back, you know, not creating as many turnovers as we wanted um, from the previous year. So uh, you know that's been a big point of emphasis throughout the spring. Uh, practice, you know, trying to get, I think, what is it, two, two to three turnovers every every practice in competitive drills. You know, if we're, if we're not getting that, you know, we're, we're, we're running after. So I think uh, that's got to be a big point of emphasis this year, and, uh, you know, we're excited. Coach Christensen will be available at the back of the room in about 15 minutes at 2 o'clock.